Welcome back to the Water Boy. Today we're going to be at a local company called Grantham Manufacturing, what make wax papering for packaging for food, and we're going to be upgrading an existing water softener. What's well, not working? In fact, it's got restricted flow through it. It hasn't been touched for a number of years, but it has been installed for over two decades. So let's get in there, let's whip it out and put a new one in. Take a look at this. So like I said, they're suffering with restricted water flow. So that's one of the things we're going to address, but there's other things as well. They've got no shut-off valve for it, and there's not a bypass valve been fitted either. And that's really, really important in case there's an issue with the water softener and you've got to isolate it. So in this normal section here, you would have a bypass fitted. But it's not there, so I am worried about the restricted flow. So we're going to start dismantling it working our way backwards and try and find out where this restrictions occurred so we're taking the hoses off bit by bit and we're draining off into the brine tank i'm not looking forward to moving that brine tank because there's 12 inches of sediment in there but we'll get to that later but as we take the hoses off it's apparent that there's a massive amount of lime scale build up and this is what is causing this restriction so anything prior to the water softener, we need to take a look at and work our way backwards to see if there's any more. And as you can see on the pre-filter there, it's not a very good picture, but it is blocked up. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. And I'm going to cut all that pipe work out and turn on the water at different stages until I can get to where I've got a full flow again. And now I've got this pipe cut back to where I think it is, we're going to start assembling the new pipe work and the new water softener so first of all i want to put that bypass set in what's so valuable because if there is a problem later on we can isolate this machine and then they can still have water to the machinery and there'll be no downtime it consists of an inlet and the inlet will go to the water softener it will treat itself and then it will come back back into the outlet the outlet will have all the treated water coming through and then that will carry on going to all the machinery. The only difference in the bypass is we have a little lever in the middle called the bypass and that will allow hard water to pass through if there was a problem, which it shouldn't do really because once we get these machines set up, they're really, really solid gold and reliable. Once we've got that fitted, we can connect the pipe work to the bottom of the bypass and then we're ready to start building the machine up. So I'm going to pop a clack valve on this. This is the WS1, very reliable. This is the twin tank version of it, so it'll be uninterrupted water. One will regenerate while the other one will be idling. The circuit board's really good because it contains a lot of data, so fault finding won't be an issue. So we've got two vessels to fill, and we do this on site, and we do it by hand, and that way it's easier to transport to the site. And the resin what we use is a high quality cat iron resin. And like I say, we do all that on site. So once we've filled up the vessels, we can put the valve on the top and also put the slave on the side and then program it up and then connect the hoses to the bypass. The brine tank gets fitted and this is holding 125 kilos of salt, something that they won't be filling all the time. And then we have the finish unit so that nobody comes past and gets the controls mixed up. We just add a laminated card which shows the way that the bypass is fitted. And on the other side, it will have one in work and then on the other it will be one in bypass. 
as always please subscribe and like the video we'll keep you up to date with all the new videos as they come in and if you want to find out more about commercial water softening just click the links below and don't forget to look through the other videos as well because we do loads and loads of domestic water softening and water treatment thank you for watching come back again